Come on, dog. We got a long way to go yet. We got us a man to kill when we get there. You'll be back tonight? Sure? Denny. I might be back next guy, Fork's Day. How's that suit you, Fancy? Bottle's empty. You better fill it up. Come on, Missy. Bring it now, Missy, or I'm coming after you. Gentleman seems restless. Serve him. Go on, Jeff. That's what you're here for. Denny, please. You can't neglect a paying customer. Go on. He's crazy drunk. He might hurt me. Nonsense. You'll charm the savagery out of him. Let go of me. Denny! Let go of me, you filthy. Wasting a life with me here, eh? No need to hurry, Jeff. That's all right, they won't bother you again. He's chasing daisies. Haven't hit a man that hard since I fought Mitchell. Know anything about boxing, Jeff? No. Maybe it's time I gave you a few lessons. So you'll be prepared when those blokes out there start taking liberties. Feel that hand. Like leather, then. I used to soak my fists in brine before every bout. You ever read about my fight with Peter Jackson in Sydney? Denny, please. You had a strong right to Peter. Tricky way of crossing it like that. <coughs> Smash. <coughs> what a good deal like Charlie Morgan. Something like this. Stop it, stop it. This room. And that one out there. They're your world. Better get used to it, Jeff. Because you're never going to leave it. You won't leave it now, because I won't let you. And when I do, you won't want to go. Pretty face. Proud body. Got the whole flaming world in your bonnet, don't you? Every bloke kissing the ground you tread on. All except me, ducks. And you'll crawl to me as long as I want you. Denny, please don't go. I'll be back before nightfall. Good life, sir. Oh. It's published by the Brotherhood and shows you the road to everlasting peace. How much? There's no charge for salvation. Oh, it wouldn't be honest of me to keep all this. Take it, son. Prudence is one of the Lord's blessings. Stay there, 
Brown. Why, why didn't you do any, do any, I mean, no good, boy. I, I see, you know, I, I don't know. Yeah. Bottle of whiskey. I got money coming back here. No. I'll give you a five dollar gold piece to put four dollars on the bar. Give me one you watched this year. Buy me a drink, cowboy. Hello, Jeff. You're rock headed as ever, ain't you? Dave. Oh, Dave. You. Well, part of me is liable to. I'm kind of dirty. I ain't been under roof in a month. Serve the customers. How long? Long enough. Why? You gonna tell me why, Jeff? I'll leave me alone, Dave. Or maybe you want to hear how I got started. I don't want to be preached to. I don't owe explanations to nobody. <laughs> Working in a saloon isn't a crime. More like a rat hole in a saloon. Don't be angry with me. I ain't angry with you. I just keep thinking about it. Toe-headed little whelp used to tag around after me, making a nuisance out of herself. Forget her. I didn't forget a verse she taught me once. Went, uh, I go up into heaven and you're there. And if I make my bed in hell, you're there. And if I take up wings of mourning, uh, yes, I forgot. If I take the wings of the morning, 
and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there shall thy hand lead me. And I will praise thee, for I am wonderfully made. That's Brown. He just wakes up to eat. I think he's beautiful. <laughs> Going out of here before somebody steals a horse. Quit it now. Brown. Go on. I'm going outside. must buy you a drink. No. He's a friend of mine. Please go away. Buy you a drink or you must leave. You don't sit with men who don't buy drinks. Savvy? <laughs> Sounds good in storybooks, but it don't happen. I don't tell him, somebody else will. That kind of news everybody likes to talk about. Even if they don't find out. It never works. You make yourself poison everyone around you until... until they want you gone. You don't belong no matter how much you want to. You could go someplace else then. Me. Jeff, let me take you out of here. We can go up north. You want to sing in a saloon, I'll find you a decent one in Flagstaff. Now, come on, Jeff. Just like that? Why not? That sounds nice. Come on, Jeff. My things. You just get a coat. We pick up all the things you need on the way. I didn't one ride through here about six months ago. More like a year. I asked you if you were going someplace, Jeff. <sighs> could stop a bull elephant with one of these. I'm waiting for your answer, Jeff. Beautiful work. 
workmanship. Have you heard of me? I don't know who you are. I don't know what you are. What am I? You're a tin horn, makes money off women. Denny, he's an old friend of mine. He don't mean any harm. Sit down, Jeff. Or talk to me. Tell me what I'm waiting to hear. What's your name? Blasting game. Where do you get ammunition for this? Same place you get the rifle. I'm trying to decide what to do with you, Mr. Blasingame. I suppose I should kill you for shooting my bartender and upsetting my female help. I heard about her. I rode 300 miles down here to kill you. And save a maiden from a fate worse than death. Full of wrath, aren't you? The righteous wrath of a man blinded by a vision called the sanctity of womanhood. One who, in consequence, takes a great deal for granted. Too much for granted. I don't misuse women, Mr. Blasingame. The truth is, I'm very practical with regard to them. They have a strong commercial value. I employ it. The fact that Jeff serves a customer a drink makes it infinitely more delicious and profitable. And let her go and get somebody else. You think she's held here against her will? I know she is. What makes you so sure? We was on our way out of here when your bartender there got brave. You were gonna leave me? Answer me. Don't ever try it again. Understand? Never. I need you. That surprises you? Surprises me too. Looks like a good rifle. Let's see what it can do. Take her, cowboy. I'm going to. We'll see. Denny, please don't hurt him, please. I wasn't going to leave you, I swear it. Lane for the left, cross for the right. Very effective. <laughs> Paddy Ryan's specialty. That's outside the rules. It's saying a game! That's enough. Get out of here. All right, cowboy. On your way. You're taking her with me. I'm giving you a chance to get out of here. No. You set quite a value on her, don't you? That's right. So am I. Take her and get out. Before he changes mind. Where's your room? Pack your things, Jeff. You're free to go. Good 
is a wedding present for you. If he doesn't marry you, take a trip on me. I'm not going. I'm sorry, Dave. Well, what for? What do you got to be sorry about? You're doing what you want to do, ain't you? I'm the one that's sorry. I'm sorry about being a damn fool. You got a right to hate. You could have been killed trying to help me. Well, never mind about me, just think about yourself. You think about yourself five years from now when you're busted up and die in the alley. Well, Jeff, don't do that to yourself. Let me take care of you. You was always something special with me. When you was a little kid, I used to think about what a fine woman you'd make. And I always thought once I got my ranch started, I'd find you. But don't, Dave, please. I'm not worth worrying about. I can't help worrying about you. You're part and parcel of me, Jeff. I watched you grow up. I even helped raise you. I loved you like you was my own blood. I don't want to... I want to see you die in this stinking rat hole. I want you with me. You want something that isn't here. You want something that... maybe never was. gallantry gone to waste. Well, I tried to warn you. Knowing what she is, you should have... I don't know what you made out of her. You left your mark on a lot of people, I guess. My dad used to tell me that women must be God's favorites because he made them finer than anything else in creation. Hate your guts for what you've done to him. You're a bad loser, Mr. Blasingham. <laughs> I surely am. Salvation, brother. Have you? Yes, I have. Thank you. 